So this week's Rising of the Shield Hero episode 7 it was titled The Savior of the Heavenly Fowl. So if if I wanted to start a review, it's not just a cuteness war now between Riftalia and Philo, it's also who can be the clingiest towards Naofumi. This week's episode was great and it kicked things back a notch to focus on our merry group. Naofumi has gained more traction with his new business venture and Philo and Riftalia will do anything for their new master. So coming to the plot of this episode, the merchant asks Naofumi to deliver herbicide for a village which is overrun by a monstrous plant problem. Thanks to Motoyasu, the spear hero, uncovering a seed part of a legend that ended the low supply of food for the village, brought nothing but chaos after the plant started to mutate and attack the village. The villagers plead Naofumi to save them and he turns the plant problem into a benefit instead and also he earns quite a profit by earning money from it. Meanwhile, a visit to a hot spring has Raftalia steamy with jealousy and he goes on a ven- she goes on a venture to impress Naofumi by collecting uh, the eggs or the crystals for her master that were really expensive but Philo ruins her pa- plans and but together they buy Naofumi a small gift that he will uh, that he will care for a lot. Another enthralling episode uh, with a clash of cuteness thrown in the second half. Love the first half that showcased how much our shield hero has learned since arriving in the screwed up world. He looked badass while annihilating that plant monster like it was nothing. My favorite part was how clingy Raftalia and Philo have become towards Naofumi, especially Raftalia. The part Philo launching herself all over Naofumi had me crying. Uh, please, please more power to Raftalia please. Uh, this episode I felt Philo and Raftalia bonded a lot unlike in the last episode and it was quite cute. Uh, now coming to the theme interview of this episode, Naofumi p- pointed out how gullible the villagers were for taking the risk of accepting the seed, knowing the dangerous legend behind of why it was sealed away. You can call the villagers fools for their actions, being blinded by their own pu- pure belief. This was their only choice. People can be soon over easily with persuasion adding to their self-belief and in moments of desperation like for the villagers, you would be willing to take any risk. So that's it for the review of this episode. I'm really waiting for the next episode now. And I'm really excited to see how Naofumi uh, goes on with a venture alongside Philo and Raftalia.